modular trench shielding system can be used with both light duty and heavy duty excavating equipment. Very quickly, we're going to show you how to use trench shields to make your jobs more productive, profitable, and safer. Trench shields are designed to be the most versatile and easy to use trench shielding system on the market today. Let's take a closer look at trench shield. Each trench shield has two side walls, pipe spreader collars on both side walls, spreader pipe that fit over the collars and join the side walls together, a knife edge or flat bottom, top rail, and lifting and pulling lugs. Each set of sidewalls can be used with a wide variety of different length spreader sets. By only changing spreader sets, your trench shield can handle a wide range of different sized pipe jobs. Using the same trench shield sidewalls with various length spreaders is very cost effective and lowers your trench shielding job costs. Shields can be shipped flat for easy transport and in most cases can be hauled from job to job on your utility trailer. They are designed to assemble fast. To assemble your trench shield using an excavator, place your first sidewall on the ground with collars up. Next, lower your spreader pipe over the collars of the first sidewall. Install your spreader pins and insert your keeper pins. Then lower the collars connected to the second sidewall into the vertical spreader pipe of the first sidewall. Install your spreader pins with flathead on top then insert keeper pins. Your trench shield is now complete. This pin and keeper system cuts assembly time to a minimum, usually 15 minutes or less. This same procedure can be used with smaller trench shields using lighter equipment such as a rubber tired backhoe. In addition, this same procedure can also be used to assemble trench shields by using a forklift or front end loader with forks that attach to the bucket. A ladder is used to help position the top sidewall collars into the spreader pipe of the bottom sidewall. Again, place the spreader pins in place and install the keeper pins. The trench shield can now be set upright and is ready to go to work. Selecting the right trench shield size to meet your job requirements. Selecting the height of your trench shield. The height of your trench shield is determined by the depth your pipe is to be installed. Your pipe installation depth will determine whether you will need to stack one or more trench shields to install your pipe. Standard trench shields are available in heights of 4, 6, 8, and 10 feet, or 1.22, 1.83, 2.44, or 3.05 meters. Selecting the width of your trench shield. Your trench shield width is normally determined by the outside diameter of the pipe being installed. Select your spreader set length after determining the width of your trench shield. When determining spreader length based on pipe diameter, it is a common practice to add a minimum distance of approximately 24 inches or .61 meters to the outside diameter of your pipe to allow for working room, pipe bedding, and backfill. For example, if the outside diameter of your pipe was 48 inches or 1.22 meters, you would add a minimum of 24 inches or 0.61 meters to these dimensions to arrive at your trench shield spreader length of 72 inches or 1.83 meters. Spreaders are available in lengths from 24 inches to 144 inches or 0.61 to 3.66 meters. Selecting the length of your trench shield. Your trench shield length is determined by the length and number of pipe you're going to install per trench cut or each pipe installation cycle. Your trench shield should be a minimum of 48 inches or 1.22 meters longer than your pipe length. This will provide additional safe working room within the shield. If you wish to lay two lengths of pipe at a time, add the lengths of both pipe plus 48 inches or 1.22 meters. Rear spreader pipe clearance. Consideration must be given to the amount of clearance between the lowest spreader located on the back of your trench shield and the bottom of your trench shield sidewalls. This is necessary to make certain that your pipe will pass beneath the lowest spreader as your trench shield is pulled forward over your newly installed pipe. Upon request, your distributor 
can provide you with standard or custom spreader arches that will provide additional pipe clearance for your large diameter pipe project. A reinforced knife edge located on the bottom of your trench shield sidewalls helps seal out water and allows the excavator to push your trench shield down to grade faster. A flat bottom design is also available. Twin hardwood steel tubes are located on the top of the sidewalls and are standard equipment to help prevent damage when pushing the shield to grade. This feature is available on trench shields with 6, 8, and 10 inch or 15, 20, and 25 centimeter wall thicknesses. Through wall reinforced spreader pipe collars provide for heavy duty use and longer shield life. Four point lift system for safe, easy assembly and handling. Trench shield options. Stacking pockets or brackets allow for quick and easy stacking. Sidewall lifting hooks allow trench shields to be handled quicker and safer. Pulling lugs on the front of the trench shield offer an alternate method of pulling your trench shield forward. Foam filled sidewalls reduce sidewall weight from water and mud that can result from shield damage. Sidewall cutouts for T connections and pipe tapping. End panel connecting brackets to assemble three and four sided shields. And many more options. Matching your trench shield to your excavator. Consider your excavator's lifting capacity when selecting a trench shield. Here again, if you have a question, your efficiency distributor or a factory sales engineer can answer your question.